Hey guys, Matt Warren with Insight Partners. You ever tried to call on clients in a city where all you have is an Excel spreadsheet of their office address, but oh, to the Excel spreadsheet, they all look the same. You know, it's extremely hard to figure out which client is you know, close and which one is far away. A lot of times you have to sit there. I have, I've had to pull over and Google map, you know, oh, this guy's five miles away. This guy's two miles away. And I've even passed by some clients on the way to go see another one. And I'm like, man, if I'd have known his office was right there, I could have stopped in and said hello. Um, the tool that I've found that works best for this is, is actually using Google Maps to uh, lay out th that Excel spreadsheet. All you have to do is upload it in there. And I'm, I was asked to share how I'm actually doing that. And I thought I would record a quick video so that I could save everybody some time and you can watch it on your own time. So I wanted to just share uh, the end goal. So this is what a version of my maps currently looks like. This is the state of South Carolina, obviously. The red are all the Phoenix control valves that were installed at, that are, are due for upgrades. The blue dots are where all of the Marley cooling towers are that are older than 10 years old. So they're probably due for an upgrade. And then I even overlaid the yellow dots, which when you zoom out, the yellow are actually all of the Aon, Aon units that are over 10 years old that are actually due for upgrades or we should at least start the conversation with those clients. So how do we do that? It's pretty simple. And we'll start at the beginning. So when you pull up Google, it looks like this. It, it normally has a saved area on the left. If you click save, go over to maps and it, it'll drop down the maps that you currently have saved that you've used in the past. Um, it, it saves all those for you. So you go to the very bottom of that. So again, you go to saved over, all, over to maps, go to the very bottom, it says create map. You click create map and it says, okay, it's gonna create a map for you and you hit create. Now it's saying, okay, what do you wanna do? It starts off with a, a blank slate. So you simply go to import, go to browse. And this is where you can you know, browse and find a, a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna actually use um, uh, an old version here, let's see. Uh, this is a list of dead accounts that, you know, just for example purposes, but the first thing that pops up is it says, uh, put a, where do you want to put the, the placeholders? So it's asking for which address columns that you wanna identify. I always click address, city and state. And we'll go over these columns a little bit further um, and show how to, it relates to the spreadsheet here shortly. But click address city state and then hit continue. And the second box that pops up, it says, what do you want to be as the placeholder, like a location name or a person? And I always click company and hit finish. And bam, it, just like magic, it drops all these points onto the map for you. And the cool part about it is it's actually got notes um, you know, Mark Bell's the contact, and it's got three condensers. You know, you could put whatever you want in the notes section here, and it. If you zoom in, you know, you can see what the building looks like, um, and it's got again all the notes ready to go. So, how does that work? Um, it starts with the Excel spreadsheet. All the work is in the Excel spreadsheet. You know, it takes a lot of time to put this, the spreadsheet and get it like you want it. And then about every week I'll update it and then upload a new version onto the maps. You know, it's real easy to upload a new version. Um, you know, how did I do the colors? You know, how do you make the different colors, yellow, red, green, blue? If you, if you hover over this right here where it says all items and click the little paint can, you can change the color to yellow. It'll change the flags to yellow. Uh, you, you can even make them different styles. Um, you know, choose different icons, whatever you want to do there. But that is what we call a layer. So you're going to make one layer per spreadsheet. 
if you want to have a different layer on top of this, like say these are old dead leads, you add a layer right here, click add layer, and it says, all right, it, you start the process over again. You can import a different spreadsheet um, and then go to browse. And uh, I'll just overlay a, a spreadsheet there. We'll see what happens. Um, it's got a lot of columns, you know, just, but it's the same process. It starts over again. And once you get that in, then you would just make that color a different color. You could also share this with somebody. Like if you have uh, somebody working under you that's going to knock on doors and cold call for you, you can click share and, and invite them to see the map um, and give them access to it. So that's how you make the map. Um, and the cool part about it is, is everything that you make in this Google computer version it works on the Google Maps on your phone. So you can pull it up on your phone and very easily pull up all the, all the maps that you create here. You can pull the same things up on your phone and whether you're riding with somebody or driving, you know, you can create routes uh, just like you would if you're going on a trip somewhere, you know, planning your routes, you can go and call on um, locations. One thing that I really like to do and one reason why I'm using this map tool is like, for example, this is, um, let me use this other map, but if I'm going to call on folks, say in, in Charleston, what I'll do is I'll plan my day. I might start up here, the farthest one away and, and start there, work my way around. So I'm going to stop at this client and I'm going to talk about Aon, it's Aon. I'm going to talk about Phoenix controls when I get to this customer. Uh, you see these two are right next door. So I'd be crazy to go call on this customer and not stop in and see this customer. Even if I just drop in and drop my card off and say, hey, I was right next door, just wanted to say hello. But then when I get into the heart of Charleston, you know, I, I'm going to make sure that I hit all these along the way. These are side by side. Uh, but it makes no sense to go talk to somebody about cooling towers and not go across the street and talk to them about Aon if I'm right next door. That's how you maximize your, your sales call trips maximize your mileage. Um, so that's a little bit how I'm using it. Now, let me switch spreadsheets and, or I switch screens and share my spreadsheet. So this is an old spreadsheet that I'm using um, as an example. So I like to have it in these key columns. You can have more columns, you can have less columns, but these are the, what. this is how I lay it out the best. I like to have an A, you can see over here it says, an A column. So I always will prior prioritize all of my leads or my prospects. If it's a big fish or somebody that I maybe have a warm connection with that I want to start the day off calling on those people, I'll put an A next to it. If they're Phoenix controls, I might have PC next to it. If they're Marley, I might have, you know, M next to it. But I always have a, a column here just to help me sort and prioritize my leads. And then I have a company column with the company name, notes, address, city, state, zip. So the address, city, state, and zip, don't put all that together in one column. Google Maps likes it best when you have separate columns. It pulls them in and makes a quick map for you. But you have to, a lot of times, go and find that information and type it in there. Um, but th these uh, notes, the notes columns are critical. Um, as you can see, I'll put as much as I can in there, it, everything that I learn about that customer, the contractor name, uh, who the contact is, their cell phone numbers, the main line, the email addresses, whatever facts that I found about that customer, I will put that in there so that when I'm walking up to the job, I can pull up my phone, click on the, the little flag and see everything I need to know real quick and be refreshed about all I need to know about that customer all the information I have, all the intel that I've done over the last however long, I put it into one spot and I've got that ready to go. So that's how I use the spreadsheet. The, the work again is putting it in the time to create the spreadsheet, but this is how I do my prospecting and my business development is I will uh, print this off. A lot of times I make it on 11 by 17 pieces of paper. Um, I'll print it off, staple it, fold it in two and I can put it into my journal. Uh, and as I'm riding around, 
making calls, I will make notes onto that uh, spreadsheet. You know, I'll pull over sometimes, take a call, have all my notes right there. I sort them, I always sort them by company. Uh, I always sort them by alphabetical by the company so that I can find them very easily. If you don't know how to do that, you just highlight the first row, go to data and filter. It'll take away or put in the, those drop downs. It, when I start my day, I always will work on the A priorities first. So you can sort by A's if you do it this way and just print off the A's. You know, if you choose to just look at the A's, um, you can print off this list and focus on those key accounts first. So I hope that was beneficial. Again, there's nothing worse than trying to call on customers with a, a spreadsheet and you know that there are people in that town, but you just don't know where they are. So by having the map and the spreadsheet working together, you can maximize your time and maximize sales. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening.